Hello, you join me today with absolutely gorgeous weather. I just stopped for a, uh, a bacon roll and a slatty. And just up the road, as you will see, is Got Boost. And Got Boost today are holding a rolling road day for Welsh Ford. I guess when Numpty decided to put his Capri on. <laughs> the same day, I've got a double book myself with the Capri crews up to Caffeine Machine, which is about two and a half hours away, maybe even three hours away. And it's, yeah, it's gonna be a big day, a long day, but sadly a bit of a rush day. So that's to come on first on the dyno and that way I can ensure I can actually get out and make it to caffeine and machine in some sort of time where I can actually see the rest of the guys. It's um, the Cat Meets Reunion, so everyone that he's interviewed on his channel, he's had them all together and he's getting them to drive up there and back. So obviously I'm going to miss the drive there, but I should catch the, them up there, have a good uh, hour or two there, and then be able to drive back with them. So it's half half an effort. <laughs> anyway, so the 1.8 is going on the dinos, and one I just I'm just curious to see what it's going to make. As a 1.8, um, I found a uh, vacuum leak on my intake yesterday. Don't worry about this, it's a private road and an industrial state. So I'm not too, uh, too shy. Yeah, I found a vacuum leak. It was a crack in the weld on one of the parts that I grinded down a bit too much. And it was a, it was literally hairline. But it played a bit of havoc actually. It was over fuel, but not over fueling, under fueling. Running quite lean. Um, and the ECU didn't quite know what to do with itself. So I put a couple of um, couple of spots on it and it sealed it up but now it's boosting more than I set it in the first place so now it's making about it's making about bloody I think it was boosted to almost 15 then which is a bit more than I want that with this and it just started a clutch slip on the way here so it'll be fun today I gotta be honest Fucking hell. Twin Turbo V8. No Turbo V8. <laughs> yeah, you know what's in there? Yeah. Twin turbo V8. Mad, isn't it? Yeah, it's manual, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> yeah, too, after with the autos, yeah, force away after you, that. They want, they'll just change. Right. I don't think you want this as a bad one. Firebird gone. No. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> no. It's running. It's all working. Yeah. Uh, That's something. Right. Let's get... Thank you. 
bloody waste of time. <laughs> I should have started to go to a um, caffeine machine instead of just actually going to the dino or all. Um, so that's where I'm going now. I'm on the way. I'm just passing through Newport, so I'll be on the M5 and ending up soon. Quite excited, never been there before. But hang on, turn up. So anyway, um, yeah, it's um, it's a bit of a bit of a shame. The only result I got was uh, 233 of the engine, um, but it's still the rear axle is backed up a tire badly. I hope they would have scrapped it down by the axle rather than the actual body, but they use the body and use the line. Boost into like 16, 17 psi when it wants to. Not great. I even hit boost cut a few times on those um, little pulls I was doing. And then an, um, an S5 driver shot up my ass, so I floored away from him, lost him completely. He caught me up and gave me the thumbs up. <laughs> Funny. I am got a screwdriver on me to turn the boost down. I guess I'll have to rein it in myself, won't I? Stop being a div. Nice little spot, K-Sports, Sabre tuning, 
that's why it was dear. Well, I made it. Proof is the wall. It's amazing here. I did not expect it to be as good as this. There's so many food tables. There's like a three tent teepee. There's a massive oak tree. I don't know what. That's been here since the dawn of time. Look at this, huge. Oh, I just landed. The car has driven the best it's ever driven as far as I'm concerned. It was amazing. The brakes were fantastic. And considering I've literally just finished doing the conversion on the back, I haven't heard a peep out of them. They've been, it's like it's not even changed. Met up with Ant Dunn and the other guys. Having a good look around now. Yeah, chuffed. Looking forward to the drive home as well, which is a lot thing to say, considering I've only been here about 10 minutes. But the drive home with the guys is going to be nice as well. Lamborghinis. Very special looking hurricane here. A lot of paint on that. Pop in it, Chadwick. So here we all are, Anton's little green child here. Looking nice and uh, picturesque. I'm gonna go follow the bugger now. Oi! Come on, you're the photo swap of the day. Get on my phone too. <laughs> yeah! Get this. We went in the petrol station, we got some fuel, we come out, and the 1700 cross flow in this, his uh, foot just went dunk. His clutch cable snapped. And guess who had the exact part needed in his car? Me. So here he is fitting the loaned part. We're very grateful about this, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> it's the only thing I got in my boot, and that's the thing he needed. Weird, 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 weird. Long day. Uh, just had a petrol station now on the way home. Um, not too long now before I get home. Can't wait to just have some actual sat time. You know, just sit down on a car that's not in a Recaro, as comfy as they are. But yeah, great day. Awesome day out, as Anton would say. Absolutely wicked. Um, nice guys as well. I'm, I'm chuffed. So. I think that's it for the Capri for a bit now. It's had a few niggles today. It drove amazing, but um, yeah, I've just the map isn't right for this engine. It, it needs to be. Um, it needs to go back to J Carl. It needs to be set up. Um, so I think I'm gonna lay low a little bit on the Capri side of things because if I keep driving it like this, I'm gonna cause some damage, you know. So um, things to look forward to now is um, RS Coom with the Escort. I'm taking it on track. Um, hopefully that will sell soon, it's up for sale um, because I just want to, I didn't want to sell it but I, I'm not overly fond of keeping it, you know what I mean? It's just like one of those limbo states where it can go or it can stay, I'm not too bothered but there is some money tied up in it, it does owe me a couple of grand and that money could very well be spent on the GTO or even this, um, so yeah that's up for sale but I'm gonna have a last hurrah in it on um, on track at Um So until then, I'm probably gonna yeah take a little sabbatical from the Capri. Like I said, the map. You, I'm watching the AFRs and it's running very lean at times, and I know how that gets me. So yeah, awesome day out. Loved the caffeine machine. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Thoroughly recommend. You're a petrolhead. Get yourself there. It is amazing. 
So um, that's it from me for this video. I know it's a bit of a long one. But yeah, take it easy. Thank you.